Hi guys, this is a Simon Expert. Let's take a look at this picture over here. We have a small car weighing 610 kilos parked behind the truck weighing 1,604 kilos. The brakes of both cars are off and they're on the level road so they're free to roll. On the back of the truck there is a small girl weighing 24 kilos and the girl pushes the car away applying a constant force. After the girl pushes the car away, the car has acceleration 1.3 meters per second squared. Our task is to find the acceleration of the truck. So, according to Newton, when there are two objects and one of them applies the force to the other, there is always a counter force equal to this force. So we can say that action always causes reaction. And this can be described by the formula F1 equals F2 where F1 is the force applied to the car and F2 is the force applied to the truck with the girl. Also, we know another formula, another law of Newton, which relates the force with the acceleration. F equals ma. So, using these two formulas, we can find this system F1 and equals F2 for our two cars and the girl. So, on the left, we have uh, the force applied to the car. And this will be mass of the car times acceleration of the car. And on the other side, we have a system of a girl and a truck. So, first we have braces, where we have uh, mass of the truck plus mass of the girl. And here we have the acceleration of the truck. And because the girl is sitting in the truck, she has no acceleration itself. So only acceleration of the truck here. Okay, from here we can derive the acceleration of the truck as the mass of the car times acceleration of the car divided by the sum of the mass of the truck and the mass of the girl. And this gives us 610 times 1.3 divided by 1604 plus 24 and this gives us approximately 0 0.49 meters per second squared so here's the acceleration of the truck caused by the push of this little girl thanks for watching us and I see you next time